So it's been a while since I've done a pros and cons in Wilmington. Is Wilmington a good place to live? So I thought I'd come down here, take a little stroll on the streets, and kind of revisit this. So I'm gonna talk about the positives that Wilmington has to offer first. First of all, it's a beautiful area. You can see that, right? So it's got a lot to offer in that way. It's got a lot of character. It's really close to the beaches. It's really close to the intercoastal. It's so much to offer. There's so many different restaurants, so many different places to shop. Another few things that this place has to offer, the brewery scene here is growing. So you're, if you're in the craft beers and all of that, a lot of different choices. Finally, the music scene is getting better and better here. You know, we just have uh, a bunch of little local places for music and of course the amphitheater down by the uh, Cape Fear River, which is awesome, you know, outdoor venue. Oh, I didn't mention, by the way, the beaches. Our beaches are gorgeous, super clean. The water is super blue. It's nice, it's warm. You also have the seasons here, which are gorgeous. And the weather here is typically very, very nice. You've got your small section of time where summer, it's brutally hot or in the winter you do have cold nights whatever but a pro overall wonderful weather so if you're an entrepreneur it's a great place to grow your business there's not a lot of big industry here so it's perfect for people that have that entrepreneurial spirit that want to grow their own business tap into a market and provide service and goods to clients this is a wonderful place for that the medical scene here if you guys are you know concerned about medical the medical scene here is really pretty decent. That's a plus, that's a pro. Taxes overall, not too bad. They're affordable. Wilmington is super close to a bunch of little communities and like small fishing town type feel. A lot of places to visit, a lot of things to go explore and see, which ties into the movie industry. So many movies, so many TV shows are shot here. Screen Gem Studios is just down the road from us right here where we're actually filming this. And it's really cool. So you can be out and about and run into celebrities sometimes or see them filming on site or on site on set, which is pretty cool. You know, it's it makes you feel like, oh, that's neat. And then you go watch the TV show, Summer I Turn Pretty or the movie. Black Phone was filmed here. So like just a lot of cool things where you, you see the movies and you go, I've eaten there. I've walked down that road. I know that house. So the city also puts on a bunch of fairs and festivals, which is really cool. It's always a good time. They always have a good turnout. The Azalea Festival or an art festival or whatever they have going on. So definitely cool, but parking, parking can be a pain. Let's talk about the cons. Let's talk about the drawbacks. So one of the drawbacks here is the average salary is around $50,000. That's according to the Labor Statistics Bureau. What, what's happening with that is the growth here is far surpassing the infrastructure. It's far surpassing the average salary point. So it's creating a unique dynamic with the levels of work provided here. Again, a lot of people work remotely because there's just not a ton of large industry here. A lot of the small town vibe that Wilmington had is kind of diminishing to a degree. And that's largely due to all the influx of people that, well, that we have that are transplanting from different areas. The infrastructure here, like it's just, it is just not keeping up with the demand of people that want to live here. Traffic is tough. Parking, let's talk about the beaches. Parking at the beaches has gotten to be ridiculous. It costs you a fortune to park at the beaches, whereas just a few short years ago it was free with the exception of Wrightsville Beach. Now pretty much every beach is charging you to park kind of annoying to be honest as a local who lives here to have to pay every time yes you can buy a season pass most of the beaches you pay for the beach you get there whatever you got to get there early because the parking there at the beaches if you're not there early in the morning forget about it you're not going to find a spot another con for wilmington is the cost of housing you know we've seen prices increase well over 40 percent in the past couple of years and the question becomes you know with an average salary of fifty thousand dollars a year how in the world are people affording these homes? And again, it comes back to a lot of people working remotely or being an entrepreneur and having that entrepreneurial spirit and doing their own thing. Wilmington, it's a small, large city, about 120,000 people here. Well, you put 120,000 people in a box and there's bound to be crime. We have crime here in Wilmington. It's unavoidable, there's crime everywhere. Obviously, you can see that I'm walking around here. Nothing that I'm concerned about. How are you? 
We're also seeing an increase in our insurance, and that's due to, from what I understand from our insurers, having a few storms here. And that comes back to another con. On top of that, it's we have hurricanes, and we live on the coast, and that's just part of it. And in fact, today, right now, you can see what it looks like. We have a tropical storm warning. So once you go through a few of them, you really don't get that concerned unless it's a major, major hurricane, in which case you get out of Dodge. So the weather is both a pro and a con. So all in all, I don't need to harp any more on the cons. I'm sure I could find some more. I'm sure there's gonna be people that contribute some, some negative comments, you know, that they feel are cons. And I welcome that because let's all, let's all put it out there. Let's, let's explain what Wilmington is. Um, but what does this mean for you? Is Wilmington a good place to live? My biased answer is a resounding yes. I love living here. I love everything this place has to offer, the pros, the cons, all of it. But ultimately, you have to be the one to make the decision whether or not it's right for you. Expenses, insurances, cost of homes, uh, salaries, all of these things, the weather, you know, you've got to take into account and decide whether or not it is right for you. It's a gorgeous area and that's all I have to say. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you feel that I didn't hit on something or you want to know something further, more detail. Appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, peace.